so this is the lecture part, and I'll probably um, do this tomorrow. It, this is going to look like a really long, maybe more than an hour um, PowerPoint, but it's just me like talking. So um, I don't know if you can speed these up. I know you can speed up. You may be able to speed this up, hopefully, like listen to it double time like you can with podcasts. I'm not sure if you can do that, but anyway, I'll come back and um, continue to record. I don't know if I can stop and start again on this slide. Uh, okay, well, I'll just I'll complete this one. So this was the lecture that I always give the first day of class, and I usually talk way too fast. And I do talk really fast, and it's hard when I'm actually covering things that are really familiar to me but won't be familiar to you. So these are the things that make a note and ask me in um, our synchronous, or you can shoot me an email and go, I don't know what this is. Or sometimes um, it's the discussion. You're supposed to actually talk about it in the discussion for the week. Um, or, I don't know, you can, you, yeah, just contact me, or if you don't feel comfortable doing that, um, just bring it up in the synchronous, or maybe ask somebody else. I don't know, that's an option. So this is a sort of an outline of what we're going to talk about in this lecture, but it's very, very fundamental, so it's just kind of like basic stuff. And I like to call it um, milieu. Um, so it's it's kind of the foundation, the background. Like what is, where does the librarian fit into the organization? Um, that kind of thing. And it will keep coming up throughout the class because where the librarian fits in in the organization really affects our status and our interaction with other with the patrons. Um, and then we'll cover library department duties. Um, sometimes they're very strange. And well, first we'll talk about law firms, and um, then we'll talk about academic libraries, public libraries, government agency libraries, and kind of how they're different. But I don't have ex as much experience in non-law firm libraries, so I I do will rely on anybody who's working in one now um, to kind of share. Um, their thoughts about this. Um, librarian roles. There's traditional libraries and then there's a lot of emerging roles um, where librarians can play a part and I list those here. Business development, competitive intelligence, conflicts, and I'll, I'll explain those later. And SCALCOM is a big one in scholarly communications. It's a big one in the academic libraries. It's not so much, you don't think about it as being a law librarian thing, but it is something for someone to do that is law related. And if you do have a JD or a law background, um, that can be very helpful. We'll talk about academic law libraries, um, public law libraries, and some government agency law libraries. So I'm actually going to take a break, and on the next slide, I'll probably be wearing different clothes or something, be in a different place. Thanks. So in this slide, I show you two different um, organizational charts from um, two different law firms. And I apologize, I don't have captions for these. This is just something I pulled from the internet. but. Um, you can see on the left, um, there's a board at the top, which is made up of the lawyers in the firm. Um, I guess usually the, the, the sort of most powerful ones. And then below that, you'll have a managing partner. And um, in this one, they have a chief executive officer. And that's interesting because... Um, They've split that managing partner hat is just um, over the, the other partners in the firm, and you can see responsible partners. Um, and he would be over all of the different practice areas. So there'd be like an environmental practice, 
and there would be a responsible partner for that and then the managing partner is over those and then on the the right the chief executive officer is over all of sort of the administrative non um lawyer um uh, employees so they have a chief financial officer an office manager a chief knowledge officer and you can see that the library is under that but there's a knowledge architect a strategy planner a training manager and then the librarian officer is sort of on the bottom. Um, now, a chief knowledge officer could have a um, information background, so it could be a librarian background, and also the chief information officer as well. Um, and you can see that there's all the um, sort of information architect, systems development, systems operation, and the help desk manager. You can see it's very tech heavy. Um, and that in training has a piece here, and a lot of um, law firm libraries and um, li librarians are going to be doing the training. Though a lot of times vendors of the products of the databases will do the trainings. Um, it's interesting that there's this idea of knowledge officer mm -hmm. and knowledge architect. Um, knowledge management is its own field. Um, so that's, I mean, that's kind of a, a something that someone with a library background could do. It's not typically what we're talking about in this class, so where we talk about legal research and the resources, those are basically handled by librarians. Um, and then on the right, um, you see that there's founding partners at the top, and you have, again, split into legal and non-legal. And in the legal, um, you have the different sort of departments or disciplines or um, practice areas. They're usually called practice areas in law firms. And um, those are um, general, like a general one, and a corporate and tax, litigation, and then labor and immigration. And then non-legal, you have the office manager is over all of the other areas like the docket, electronic data, admin and general services, accounting, finance, secretarial, library, security, and housekeeping. And you can see that library is down with housekeeping and security and secretarial. And that's a point that I wanted to make in law firms. The, the library and the librarian have a, a fairly low status in the firm. And um, even though usually library budgets are some of the, the largest budgets in the firm, they're really dominated by um, the, the acquisitions, the payments to vendors, and the, the actual materials. I, you can't talk. Okay. Um, so, anyway, I, I just wanted to point that out. It's a real problem in librarianship, and it's not across the board, but it was certainly a problem in the firm I was in, that librarians really have a very low status, and it's difficult to get um, sort of heard and um, believed and uh, it really helps um, to develop relationships, individual relationships with people in order to um, help that. 